in the glorious Quran in the next verse in Surah Al Imran, chapter number three, verse number 104. And Allah says, Let there arise out of you a band of people that invite people towards the good and forbid them from doing what is wrong. These are the ones that shall attain felicity. Yalla is saying, talking about let there arise out of you a band of people that enjoin people towards the good and forbid them from what they are doing wrong. These are the ones that shall attain felicity, means they shall attain a higher state in Jannah. How we are full-time doctors, full-time lawyers, full-time businessmen. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about full-time duats, full-time da'is. Let there arise out of the Muslim ummah a band of da'is that enjoin people towards the good and forbid them from doing wrong. These are the ones that shall attain felicity. This is farz kafaya that these duats who are full-time da'is, they are doing farz kafaya There should be a group of duats. In the other verse, in the other surah, where Allah talks about every Muslim should at least be a part-time da'i, is Surah Al-Asr, chapter number 103, verse number 1 to 3, where Allah says, Wal-Asr, inna al-insana la fi khusr, illa lazina amanu, wa amilu salihati, wa tawasaw bil haqq, wa tawasaw bil sabr. That by the token of time, man is verily in a state of loss. Here Allah is telling that man is in khasara, human being is in loss. For any human being to attain Jannah, there are minimum four requirements. And the surah continues. That, well, as inna in salafi khus, illa lazina amanu. Except those who have faith, who amilu salihat, those who do righteous deed, watawasaw bil haq, invite people to the truth, do dawa, watawasaw bil sabr, invite people to patience and perseverance. According to this surah of the Quran, Surah Al Asr, Allah is telling, that there are minimum four criteria for any human being to go to Jannah, to attain salvation. Number one is Iman. Number two is righteous deed. Number three is Watawasa Bil Haq, inviting people to truth, that is doing Dawah and Islam. And number four is inviting people to patience and perseverance. If under normal circumstances, any one of these four are missing, According to Surah Al-Asad, you shall not enter Jannah. You may be a very good Muslim. You may be paying five times a day. You may be fasting in the month of Ramadan. You may be giving zakat. You may have gone for hajj. But if you don't do dawah according to Surah Al-Asad, you shall not go to Jannah. If Allah wants to forgive you and put you in Jannah, that is his prerogative. As Allah says in Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse 48 and Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse 116, if Allah pleases, he may forgive any sin, but the sin of shirk he'll not forgive. So if Allah wants to forgive you and put you in Jannah, that is his prerogative. But according to Surah Al-Asr, if you don't do dawa, you shall not enter Jannah. Only dawa is also not sufficient. All four are equally important. Iman, righteous deed, dawa, and exhorting people to patience and perseverance. These are the minimum four criteria required for entering Jannah. And According to Imam Shafi, may Allah have mercy on him, he said that if this Surah Al-Asr was only revealed, it would have been sufficient for the guidance of humanity. Imagine this Surah is so powerful that Imam Shafi, may Allah have mercy on him, said, Rahimullah, that if this Surah alone would have revealed, it would have been sufficient for the guidance of humanity. So it is a fard, it's a fard and compulsory that every Muslim should at least be a part-time die. But the verse of the Quran in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse 104 is talking about a group of people who are full-time dies. Here Allah says, it's talking about fard kifaya. There should be a group of people. Let there arise out of you a band of people that invite people to the truth and forbid them from doing wrong, these are the ones that shall attain felicity.
we found that, mashallah, the Muslims were very strong. And we ruled from east to the west. From Rome to Persia. And alhamdulillah, never did the disbelievers ever at that time played mischief with the Muslims because we were strong. And the main reason